trying to get a bunch of work done and film yourself at the same time, I highly don't recommend it. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We are doing straighten up your sh Saturday because you know what? I really need to do it. Look at this place. This is after live show. I still got stuff attached to my camera. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, this place is a mess. This place is a mess. And all under here is a huge mess. And it's just been going on for too long. All this stuff is starting to pile up on each other. And it's like, you start with a little bit and then nothing, next thing you know, another thing piles on here. Here's a cage that I was letting Ed borrow that he brought back. And then another thing sets on top of another thing, another thing sets on top of another thing. Next thing you know, you're surrounded by an astounding pile of sh And it slows me down. It slows me down. It's slowing me down. The first thing I did this morning was go and sit in the sauna at the gym. So I got a good start there. I think we need to make some coffee. And ooh, ooh, ooh. With a little bit of luck and timing, these eggs might be pipping today. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more detail about why we're good. I'm finally tackling this mess today. And man, especially over there by the side of the computer. But let's, we gotta get some coffee first. <laughs> Now we're talking. So a big part of the reason and idea for this cleanup is I think I'm gonna move this computer area up to the guest room and just set it up up there. Because A, I hardly use this to edit anymore. I do all my stuff on my laptop. I think I think like 90% of computer work I do on my laptop. I don't even touch this anymore. So it's just kind of sitting here taking up space. And I'm maybe gonna move that shelf out in the garage too and just keep like my keep my pertinent camera gear in the room in my backpack. Everything else is just stands and really not all that important as far as how much it costs to replace and how much it needs to be temperature controlled and all that so and if i get rid of all that stuff i can fit some more caging right here which is actually going to be for maybe about three snakes like when the scrub pythons get older and the carpet python so they can have more climbing space and uh maybe i'll actually paint my snake room wall once and for all okay we need to get started <music> Hey Noah, what do you know? I know. Snakes. What about snakes? That they don't have eyelids and they move their self with muscle because they don't have legs. And some snakes are venomous. Most snakes are not. And and all snakes have different patterns. Ah, spider! That's. Spider came out of nowhere. Where'd he come from? Well, he came out of nowhere. Look out why me, Daddy. Well, just see you did it rain now. You know what just occurred to me? I've got this thing over here. 
That big stack of cages has been sitting out here in the garage doing nothing. Once I get my desk moved upstairs, I can just put that there. I don't have to buy anything new and be able to give some snakes some more space and I think ultimately get this together. We're gonna call this Shuffle, Shuffle Saturday. Shuffle stuff around Saturday. Sounds good, super, sweet, splendiferous. What, what started all this actually was me being able to not eat sugar last night. I woke up, I was trying to go to bed, trying to go to bed around 10.30, you know, so I get to sleep before midnight and don't get any like cravings that would ultimately destroy me. And I almost didn't. I woke up for a second, I started putting on some sweats and Hillary's like, what are you doing? And I lied. And I said that I was just feeling itchy, so I wanted to put on sweats so I could lay back down. And instead of going out to the kitchen, looking for ice cream and late night uh, soap operas, I just laid down next to Hillary to wait for her to go to sleep so I could sneak off and get some sugar, and I fell asleep in the process. So, so success. Now I've got this day with lots of extra energy because I didn't eat sugar last night, and I'm one step at a time. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Sharks. What about sharks? That some don't have teeth, and we always have teeth, and that's why I know. Some sharks don't have teeth? What shark doesn't have teeth? With sharks. Grow super big and bigger and bigger and bigger, their teeth fall out. But they still have more. Yeah. Yeah. So sh sharks have teeth. I know. Why not? Are you doing that? Wow! Look at that giant triple B sticker. I didn't even remember. I forgot this thing even existed. Yeah. That thing's huge. I wonder if it's still good. Ooh, still good. <laughs> Look, another big one. I forgot I had these. There's one right there. Another one. What do you do on your day off? Honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna bring the rest of that computer stuff up here. I literally don't use it anymore, except for the printer is the only thing I use off that computer anymore, really. I'm gonna put it on Craigslist. <laughs> finding all kinds of cool stuff. My grandfather made us these boards before he passed away. It's a game that we've played in our family for a long time and I was like, there's no way that I lost that thing. There it is. <sighs> I had to get over the hump. Seems like it was just the other day that I moved this thing out of this room and now it's back in. I've got a lot of organizing, a lot of cleaning to do, obviously. I don't know how long this is taking on the video, but this is taking a long time. So I'm gonna spend the next little while getting rid of stuff like, like these boxes for my lav mics that I used to carry them around in all the time and put them back in and take them back out, which would make them last a long time to be fair, but now I just load them up and put them in my camera bag and. It, all kinds of stuff like this. this, this bag of herb that somebody gave me a while ago. I'm pretty sure it's like catnip now. I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. I'm not gonna bring you along for all the boring 
details of stuff I'm getting rid of, but just know that when I come back on this camera, this place is gonna be clean. And that's why smart people build enclosures out of plastic and acrylic and not oak and glass. Whew. It's not bad, it's just a little heavy. All right, a couple of the dudes came over for some vocal practice, so I thought maybe you guys would like to see a little snippet of that real quick. Real quick. What puts a smile on your face? Tell me the truth. What really makes you happy? What makes you move? Never give up when love gets too hard. Right around the corner, there's a friend. show you guys what we got done here. stoked on this little shelf here for the all the camera gear nice and laid out all the lenses and bodies easy to grab charging station up top all the bags organized these snake cages I'm gonna get running off the same four banger thermostat and I'm gonna change all the lighting out so that they match the lighting over here and uh, man changing this whole area that was a lot of work I can't actually believe how much work that was making that happen but I'm super stoked and pumped to like feel like I'm getting a little more organized around here my mind works in a way that if things aren't organized, then I start to lose it. And I think that was part of what was helping me fall apart on my sugar challenge and just not having everything together mentally. If my physical space isn't together, then my mental space isn't together. It's just a, it just falls apart. Slowly but surely getting this thing stacked up together and making it all substantial, sustainable. I think we've really outdone the alliteration today for Saturday. It's still pretty crappy weather out there. I'm really hoping that will alleviate soon so we can take you outside and fly the drone for Monday for the big music Monday I was planning on doing for you guys that I still haven't been able to do because of the fact that it's still raining out there and just crappy weather. So hopefully that lightens up. Ah. For those of you that were wondering what that big thing that I was carrying down the stairs is, it's an inversion table. Superior for releasing the stress off your spine.